Hi everybody, welcome to Stamping with Melva. I'm Melva Peters and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in British Columbia, Canada. And you can find me online at stampingwithmelva.com. Sunday today, it's a beautiful Sunday here on the West Coast. Uh, and I'm here with a sneak peek from the upcoming annual catalog that goes live on May 1st. So this is, uh, it's actually a suite called Country Woods. I'm using part of the suite. It's actually a mega suite. It has two different bundles in it. And so I am using the Country Bird House bundle along with the Country Woods Designer Series paper, uh, the basic gray or smoky slate and basic gray embellishments. It's just such a pretty suite. We are using this for our upcoming Creativity Abound stamp camp that happens in June. So the June 14th and 15th in North America, 15th and 16th in the South Pacific. Um, and so this is a stamp camp. There's 13 of us from around the world, the demonstrators, that participate um, in this. And we create uh, 13 make and takes and 13 bonus projects. And you, hey Nancy, um, so you will get um, the 13 make and takes and then access to the bonus projects in a Facebook group. If you purchase the Country Bird House bundle, the Country Woods Designer Series paper, the ribbon, the, I'm not using the ribbon today, it's petal pink and um, white ribbon, the island embossing folder, and then these pearls, smoky slate and basic gray pearls that are really pretty. Um, there's more information on my website um, and I have uh, and named my newsletter about the pre-registration for this if you're interested. Um, but what you need to do is purchase those products and then you're automatically registered for this. But I just absolutely love um, this uh, set of products. So let me switch over and we'll get started. All right. So isn't this pretty? Look at this birdhouse and then the little bird and the other ones. And the sentiments are so pretty um, in this. There are also dies that you can cut out um, the birdhouse. You can stamp the birdhouse and of course color it. The images are actually a little bit smaller than what they really are. Um, so you can cut the birdhouse out, but you can also make a, I'm going to say a 3D birdhouse. So you can actually cut the parts of the birdhouse out um, and then add some layers to it, which is what I'm going to do. Um, so it's just really pretty. It's got all the little bits for the birdhouse and then the bird and some flowers and just it's so, so pretty. Um, and then this is the Country Woods Designer Series paper. Look at this. This is the one I'm using today. Um, petal pink um, and probably crumb cake. Maybe it's not. Um, maybe it's the new basic and beige. I'm using smoky slate with it because I thought it would go. The other side is another wood grain. This is my favorite. I think this is just, just the stripes with the different colors of misty moonlight, petal pink, um, pool party, it's just it's so, so pretty. The other side is Misty Moonlight. Can you imagine what you can make with this? Look at this one. Gosh, it's so, so pretty. And then just some kind of regular wood grain. And then that one's another. Oops, my birdhouse went away. I have to go pick that one up. Um, so a, another wood grain with gray and kind of cream. And then a darker early espresso. Another one with a little bit of um, pool party probably in there, not sure. That's the one I'm using. And this one, just, it's so, so pretty. Look at this. There's so many things that you can use this one for. Oh, and then it's just this one. Um, yeah, I can't wait to play with this. Let me pick up my birdhouse. All right, so that's the designer series paper. That's part of this. There is another um, set of designer series paper. So it's a bit, like I said, um, yeah, I know it's so pretty. Like I said, it's, it's a mega sweet because not only are there the two bundles, there are the two sets of designer series paper. There is this, I, it's called an eyelet 3D embossing folder. I've already gone ahead and um, embossed it. Isn't that pretty? So that will be the background. And then I'm not using the ribbon. I don't even have the ribbon handy. It's petal pink and white. It's a really pretty ribbon. And then these are the smoky slate and basic gray pearls, two different sizes and the two different colors. Um, so this will go, I think this will go nice on my, so here's my colors. This actually was supposed to be my card on Thursday. I was gonna do a color challenge with petal pink, um, pecan pie, 
and Smoky Slate, but I didn't get live on Thursday, so I'm making the card today. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, let's get this. This is my card base that is Smoky Slate. So I cut it um, five and a half by eight and a half, and I'm going to score it at four, let's see, four and a quarter. And give it a good burnish with my bone folder. Always fold into the mountain or the raised line. Just give it a good burnish. Okay. Then I took this piece of basic white cardstock and I embossed it using that eyelid embossing folder. So that's going to be my next layer. And that was cut uh, four inches by five and a quarter. And I like to use, I've said this before, I like to use liquid glue when I use have an embossing folder because the glue gets into all the little nooks and crannies. Let's get that on there straight. There we go. Okay, so that's kind of my basic card base. Now let's assemble my birdhouse. So here's the birdhouse I cut out. So there is a die that will cut this out and there is so this is the die that I use to cut out the birdhouse. And then there is this, this little circle die um, that I just kind of put in the middle and cut out um, a hole so that the birds actually can get into the birdhouse. Got to make sure. And then there's a few other dies that I used. Let's see. I used this one, kind of looks like gingerbread. And I cut that out of petal pink, so it's going to go on there. Um, I used this one, which is kind of a perch, and I cut that out of petal pink, so it's going to go on like that. And then I cut out, I missed a piece here. Yeah, I cut out this piece out of pecan pie. So you can just kind of layer these. So that's going to go like that. And then I have one more piece of pecan pie that was cut out of this die. So there's kind of these right angle dies. Now, and if I had been really smart, I would have used the adhesive sheets, but I never think of that until after the fact. So if you're making this or making these where they're really kind of detailed, um, detailed pieces or little tiny pieces, then try and use adhesive sheets and it'll make it your life much easier. So I'm just going to add some Liquid glue. And this will be the perch. You could, I could pop that up and make it three dimensional, but I think I won't. Um, okay, now this is going to be the one that this is a really thin little die. So let's um, let's use my little trick with a sponge dauber. So squeeze a little bit of glue out. I don't need much. And then I use a sponge dauber, and you can kind of just you don't need a lot, then you can just kind of run your sponge dauber or daub it along that piece. And if you need to, you can use, if you can find it, your take your pick tool to pick it up. And that way, hopefully everything doesn't get glue all over it. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to put this right up in the Try to get it even, so right up in that peak. Try not to get too sticky. There we go. Hold it in place. So you can do this however, however you want to decorate. But the colors are amazing. I just love this. Okay, so I think I'm going to pop that up. So I'm going to use mini dimensionals. And in fact, I've got this strip along the edge that will work really well for this. So I'm just going to cut mine. The mini dimensionals have quite a wide uh, strip on the edge that don't have dimensionals on them. So it works really well when you need a piece um, to like a long strip. Or you could use the adhesive foam strips, which I love too. But I'm almost out of... That sheet is almost done, so I might as well use up the, the last bits of it. And then this can go along the top. So this is the eaves of my birdhouse. And then I'm going to use my trick with my, my uh, glue and my sponge dauber on the back of this 
kind of gingerbread piece or scallop piece. There we go. Keeps it, it glue from my fingers. I don't like. And we'll just put that up. Kind of just tuck it under the eaves of my birdhouse. Like that. A little bit of glue. Try and get that off. There we go. Okay, there. Isn't that fun? Okay, not sure who just got notice, but Facebook, I don't know why it doesn't always give notice. Now, if I had been really thinking about this, I should have. There are some splatters here and there are some wood grains. So that's actually, I should have done this before I I stamped or before I put my um, birdhouse together. But I think it's okay. Um, this is, these are photopolymer, so I can be able to see what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to take and I'm going to just stamp this wood grain just kind of almost randomly on the bottom of my bird. And I'm just going to take it and just kind of try and there we go. Just so you can hardly see it, but it's just a little bit of texture um, to, to the birdhouse itself. Okay, so let's take, so we've got our, we've got our birdhouse. I'm going to use dimensionals. Get my dimensionals out. So I'll put this on the, on the birdhouse. And we'll stamp a bird and then color it with blends. This would be a great stamp um, to do some paper piecing on as well. If you wanted to um, to do that, you could you could stamp this multiple times on different pieces of the the wood grain and uh, and then put the birdhouse together. That would be kind of fun. So I'm going to put it a little close to the top, trying to get it. It's pretty even. There we go. That's my birdhouse. All right. So let's I've got the bird. I'm going to stamp him or her in tuxedo black. Got these little scraps that I, I don't know what I did. I was cutting out something obviously. Now I'm using the sentiment that says, hoping, hoping you have the best day ever. I like that. Now, for those of you that know me, know that I like to fussy cut. I was at a, so I hosted a crafting day yesterday and I got all sorts of uh, all sorts of ribbing over my my uh, fussy cutting, but I do like to fussy cut. So I'm going to stamp my sentiment once on there and once on this other piece, kind of. So I've got the start of it on one and the end of it on another, and I'm going to fussy cut it out um, so that I can separate the words. My glue. All right, and so I pulled out um, Smoky Slate, Petal Pink, and Daffodil Delight. So let's let's start by doing the beak because I always forget to do the beak and the feet in Daffodil Delight. This is the dark. All right, and then I'm going to use this is light Smoky Slate. So I'm just going to do most of the bird in, in smoky slates. If you remember the color challenge that I posted from Thursday, uh, it was smoky slate, pecan pie, and petal pink. So it kind of covered all those. Now I'm going to put a little bit, this is the dark petal pink. I'm just going to kind of, you don't always have to use the same, the same colors. So I'm going to put a little bit of um, the dark um, petal pink on him and then I'm going to do a little bit of the dark smoky slate on his wings and on his tail maybe his eye and if you wanted to you can go back over it just just kind of smooth it out and blend it so I'm going to cut this off there is a die you can find my dies here for the little bird I can get it off. So we will take that and a piece of post-it note tape. Just 
put that on like that. And I've got my little stamp and cut, my mini. Perfect size for this little bird. And then we can go there. Plates back in. Still getting myself back organized after taking my two machine, my stamp and cut and emboss machines yesterday to the crafting day. They're not fully set up yet, so the little one comes in handy. All right, so I'm going to use a dimensional on my bird. I think I just need one. And I'm going to put my bird right there. Isn't that pretty? I just love this. Oh, okay, so then I've got my my two sets of words. So, yep, I'm going to fussy cut because that's what I do. You don't have to do this. You could cut a rectangle out and stamp the whole thing, but I am going to um, cut the... So this is going to say, this first part, I'm going to say, hope you have... There we go. So there's one part. And I guess I probably actually I'm gonna have say hope you and then have the because it will look funny if I do one single word. There we go. Hope you hoping you. There we go. We'll take hoping you have the and then I'm just gonna take and cut along here and make a one long little strip with the other three words because they're they're like typewriter type which is kind of fun all right so dimensionals i think mini dimensionals would work best for this definitely for this one in fact they might even be a little bit big for for this little strip but we'll use them anyway. Hopefully they won't show up too badly. There we go. There. There. And one more. All right. So this says, hoping you... I was looking, Nancy, to see if there was a perch. And there probably is a perch. I just haven't figured it out yet. There's the, let me bring the dies back in. Yeah, I was looking to see if there was a perch, but I didn't see one. Now, this might be a perch. Um, or it might, I'm not sure. I have to play with this a little bit more um, to see if one of these is intended to be a perch. So if you figure it out, let me know, because um, he would look kind of cute if there was a perch for him to, to stick out on here, but I haven't quite figured that out yet. All right, so hoping you, I'm going to have to double dimensional that up. Thanks, Bonnie. <laughs> I love this. I love this uh, bundle. I was so excited when I saw this. So hoping you have... The, I think this one says have the. Look at that there. Have the. And now we find a place for this. I'm going to trim this because I can see one of those little mini dimensionals. And then I'm going to put this right underneath. Have the best day ever. All right. And, of course, let's not forget our embellishments, these really pretty uh, pearls. I'm going to use the smoky slate because that was my color challenge, was to use smoky slate with pecan pie and petal, uh, pecan pie and petal pink. So there we go. I could have put a ribbon on. But that's okay. I'm going to leave it as it, is, as it is. Now I've got a piece of basic white that's cut four inches by five and a quarter. 
So I'm going to take my petal pink, and I've got this wood grain piece, so I'm just or stamp that I'm just going to take and just stamp some wood grain down in that corner, and we'll put that on. I often I said this yesterday to people. I often don't um, put sentiments on the inside of my card. Um, until I go to send it and then I can write a sentiment or I can put a sentiment on but often I haven't quite decided what the card is going to be used for so I do stamp or put some designer series paper typically on the card on the inside but often there you'll find on my cards I don't have a sentiment on the inside because well yeah I don't have it I haven't decided what I'm going to use it for so there we go. That's my very first card using this Country Birdhouse um, set of products from the Country um, Woods Suite in the new catalog. Uh, so if you haven't seen this, it's gorgeous. If you are interested in the Stamp Camp, again, the Stamp Camp is a virtual Stamp Camp. We give you access to a Facebook group and we go live throughout about a over a 24-hour period because there are demonstrators from Canada, the U.S., Australia, New Zealand, the UK and the Netherlands. And so while I'm asleep, um, other countries aren't. And so we go live, you can always watch things on the replay, but it's a, it's a very fun event and the projects are always amazing. Um, you do end up with 13 make and takes as well as 13 bonus projects that you can make using the products from your suite. So it's really a, a great deal and always projects are amazing. Um, so if you're interested in that, um, reach out to me and uh, I'll give you the information. There will be, I'm gonna put a post on my blog with more information with the link. Um, you can pre-register so that I can get your, your project products ordered May 1st, or you can go ahead and order them yourself and there'll be a list of what you need to order um, in order to be registered. If you don't live in Canada and you're interested in our stamp camp, um, we do three a year. And so this is our mid-year mid one based on the annual catalog. If you live in another country, um, we have demonstrators in every other country that um, would be able to provide you a product, uh, the products that you need. And so if you live in the U.S., I can refer you to, to some of the demonstrators in the U.S. or in the U.K. or the Netherlands uh, or New Zealand or Australia. So it doesn't matter where you live. You can still uh, still register for this uh, stamp camp. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me. Now, I will be tomorrow night. It will is the Zoom class at 7 o'clock Pacific. I will share um, what you will need for the project uh, tomorrow morning, as early as I possibly can. Uh, and then Tuesday is my sketch challenge. Uh, it will be at four o'clock Pacific. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me. Hope you have a great day. Happy stamping. Bye.